Buongiorno a tutti. My name is Alex and I'm taking over the Instagram story for ITA today to tell you about my daily life as an English teacher here in Rome. I'm on my way to get a little breakfast and I'll use that time to answer the gigantic slew of questions that they have for me about my life here in Rome and my super gay life. Okay, so I'm walking from breakfast now and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, originally, I'm from Texas. I have a bachelor's in music education, but unfortunately, music education is underpaid worldwide. So I got my English certification so that I could make my dreams of living abroad come true. So anyway, my company, or the school that I work for, uh, does want you to have a bachelor's degree. And also my online company that I work for, I work for VIP Kid, they, I think, want you to have a bachelor's degree, I'm not actually sure, but I do know that things are starting to get a little bit more serious for online teaching in China, and they want you to have a TEFL certificate usually for online teaching, so I will add my link for my online teaching, hopefully I can do that thing where it's like, swipe up! We'll see if that happens. But anyways, it's VIP Kid. Um, and so usually I work about four hours at VIP Kid and then I work three to four hours at the language school that I work at. But summer is a little weird because so summer is just a little bit weird because all of the students are traveling, both the ones here in Italy and the ones that I teach online. So today actually I have to go to the school to teach some morning lessons and then I'm going back home to teach some online lessons and then I'm going running across the street and then I'm going back to the school tonight to teach some more lessons and then I'm done um, and so I typically just get all my errands and stuff run in between lessons so I found the school that I work at here um, actually um, from the girl who took over the ITA story last year who lived in Rome and so she talked to me and she helped me figure out a bunch of the logistics and so anyway um, I work for a school called British School and they are one of the better schools in Rome and they're one of the higher paying schools in Rome. And so whenever I got here, I got here in September. Um, I didn't bother trying to find a job beforehand also because you can't really do that here. You kind of have to be here. And then um, interview in person. So I got here in September before prime hiring time in October. And I interviewed just all the schools that I could find on Google Maps. I just searched language school. And anyways, I went to this school. I gave them my resume. I had an interview with them. I liked them. They liked me. I considered it done, and so I didn't really actually interview at any other schools. But if you come here in September, for sure you're going to find a job. <laughs> so I wanted to also give some good insight to my gay life here in Rome. Um, before I moved here, I was already out. I was living a super gay life in you know, like a platinum card gay life in America. Um, I'm from Dallas, and so. We obviously have the neighborhood in Dallas and we had great clubs, great parties, everything was good and so I had been to London Pride also um, and I was just excited for gay life in Europe and then whenever I got here I kind of realized that you know, we obviously have the neighborhood in Dallas and we had great clubs, great parties, everything was good and so I had been to London Pride also um, and I was just excited for gay life in Europe and then whenever I got here I kind of realized that Rome is just as conservative as Texas is. They're a little more hostile, actually. Um, pretty much daily, I'm verbally harassed in the streets just about um, how I look and maybe how I act. Um, but I never say anything back. Um, you know, don't hate me because you ain't me. But that's not in my business. So anyway, um, I just, I don't let it affect me. And my main goal really is just to spread happiness and kindness. Like, I think we just need more of that in the world. And so um, I let them say their piece. If they feel better afterwards, then that's that. Um, but really my main goal as far as like an actual, just a gay person living abroad is to make successes as an openly gay person. I don't want anyone to think that being gay has to stop them from doing anything. And I felt the same way in college. Like I just wanted to do anything successful, make achievements, just so that I could kind of pave the way for any other gay person thinking that it's actually going to be some kind of roadblock for them. And I actually found this quite interesting whenever I, you know, traveled here. I found that Italy is a lot like America in that the South is a lot more conservative than the North. So, like in Sicily, it was extremely conservative. And then I went up to the North to celebrate my birthday and I had a lovely gay time. 
and Rome is like right there in the middle. So I experience good and I experience bad. Um, like they have gay clubs, but it's really like nightly. So like a f one club will be gay on a Friday night. Another club is gay on a Saturday night. They have some clubs that are gay all the time, but it's not like Okay, I stopped recording that because I was starting to talk about not important stuff. Um, but I wanted to talk about just like being gay with the students here, like I said, because it is just a little bit um, conservative and the gay crowd here, the gay population is not very vocal. Um, so for me, being as obviously gay as I am, I did have concerns after I got here that it might be a problem for my students, but the ones who can tell that I'm gay and know that I'm gay have had no problem with it. Um, I think it's just, it goes along the lines of like if you're being and you're being humble and you're um, like spreading happiness then obviously they're not going to say anything. Um, I'm on my way actually right now to teach two middle school girls and as we know middle schoolers can be the worst but these middle schoolers are lovely. They think I'm really cute. I think they have a crush on me but they, they don't know I'm gay so that's going to come as quite a shock. Um, but no it's it's been fine in the professional world. And lastly, I think I should add that all of my views and everything I've said about the gay life here, the population, the representation, it's nothing bad. It's just that it's in comparison to what I'm used to in America, so it's on just a little bit smaller of a scale. But all of my friends are gay, all of my friends are LGBT plus supporters and it wasn't hard to find them either um, the Italian people and the Italian culture is all very lovely and so it's nice that I get to experience that and assimilate to what they like what is their normal while also getting to continue doing what was my normal back in the States all right so visa um, I'm here under the table I've overstayed my tourist visa for about eight months and it hasn't been a problem I haven't tried to leave the Italian border yet I'm going to Greece in September, so fingers crossed. But my company is fine being or paying me under the table, and I'm fine being paid under the table. So um, if that's one of your worries about living here, I would honestly say don't worry. There's going to be people who try to turn you away from that. But really, it has not been as big of an issue as some people try to make it out to be. Chowsies. All right, so I'll give you an apartment tour. This is the entryway, and it's not huge, by the way. Um, not many apartments are, but this is actually my second apartment, so that's the entryway. <laughs> um, this is the little hallway, and this is the bathroom, typical washer in the bathroom. Um, I have a bathtub, which I love, because I can take baths, which I never have, but I plan to. This is the kitchen. It gives me very Friends vibes. I like it. It's very colorful and fancy coffee machine. We have a big balcony. This is my roommate's balcony though, so I'm not gonna go out there. He's still here. And then, and then this is my room. Thank you, Zara Home. I love the ceiling, kind of vaulted. There's my little setup. Gotta keep my computer off the table or it's gonna overheat in the summer heat. There I am again, and then a uh, balcony. And my favorite part about my room is that my balcony opens up completely, which is nice in the summertime because it gets very hot here. And then I have a nice little view, and that's pretty much it. That's the apartment. So I actually didn't decide on Rome originally. I decided on Florence because I thought it was probably the most beautiful city that I had been to in Italy, but Rome has over like a hundred language schools so the job opportunities here are a lot easier than the other cities so it's e um the school does not sponsor me for a visa and it's kind of hard to find a school that will um so unless you have a student visa or a work visa then don't expect your uh school to do that all you need is a codice fiscale which is like a tax code and they're able to pay you that way so everything is pretty much this is my gym um it's pretty nice actually like it's probably one of the nicer ones in rome and i definitely splurged because i love exercising and i didn't want a gym that would kind of make me feel uncomfortable and one of the best parts is when the studio is empty you can go here and you can choose like workout videos to go from and so since i don't have that much time today and i want abs like her i'm gonna choose something nice for me so I was on my way to work, but I decided to get off the metro to show you guys just um, how easy it is to get to everything that's so famous here. So like this is just on my way to work and it's the Coliseum, just kind of like casually there. And then up that street is... So I took another metro stop to show you guys this neighborhood. It's called Monti. It's my favorite neighborhood for shopping and eating and drinking and pretty much everything that I enjoy and also getting pizza.
Okay, and one more thing before I get to work. Um, I work really close to the Vatican, and so I love to come to St. Peter's Square and take a coffee and just sit and kind of watch the fountains and look at the pines, which are my favorite thing here in Rome, and uh, like talk to my family, whatever, whenever I have a break from work. So that's just one of the super lovely parts about living and working in Rome. So apartment hunting here is actually really easy. There's three websites that you can find online, one of the most popular being immobilare.net, and the other one you can do Airbnb, or you can search Rome Room for Rent on Facebook. All right, so that's the end of my takeover today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got something out of it. And I really hope that I was able to inspire some people to make that leap to move abroad. Uh, if you have any more questions about teaching here, LGBTQ plus life here, or my past experiences with LGBTQ plus, then please go to my personal page and message me there. And to quote one of my favorite gays, be kind. Ciao.